out of 10 is general manager report, Mr. Pritchard. Mr. Chairman, commissioners, I have received uh, information from the uh, board of assessors related to an appeal related again to uh, board of equalization decision concerning PCA. I've asked Silas to uh, be here today to address this issue and give you background on that. Silas, if you could come forward. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Um, <coughs> what we have here is uh, whenever there's a change in value in the, BO, in the board of equalization or the hearing officer level, if it's 20% or less, the board of assessors, if they intend to uh, appeal it to Superior Court, they must notify the board of commissioners of that intent and give y'all 10 days to strike that down or let it go on forward. Um, we had a uh, board equalization hearing on PCA uh, and it was on their personal property account. Um, it was specific to the spare parts, which is inventory. Um, the board of equalization decreased that spare parts value by 15%. Uh, it was an arbitrary 15%. There was you know, no factual basis for it, but just let's give them something since they're here. Um, <clears throat> that value that was decreased was uh, a drop of $3,446,431 in appraised value. That, that's how much it decreased. Um, these are these spare parts are brand new in the box on the shelf. They're, they're, these, they've never been used. They're sitting there waiting to be used whenever a part goes out and you know because the whole system comes down they've got they're losing money until that part gets replaced. Um, <clears throat> this decrease like I said was specific to spare parts so it's not like we had them just say okay there's a 15 percent you know overall reduction that we don't you know, have any reason behind it, it's done. This can cause problems later on down the road with other accounts that have spare parts on their, in their inventory, as well as there's a lot of companies that have maintenance contracts that carry the spare parts for these you know, industrial accounts. So those are, you know, these other folks may very well be coming forward and looking for the same adjustment. Um, <clears throat> The board of assessors, you know, they have a duty to the taxpayers to make sure that, you know, they uniformly assess everyone. Um, right now, nobody else is getting this 15%. It's just due to that one board equalization appeal. Uh, so um, we're just, we want to go ahead and take this on to Superior Court to go ahead and uh, get this handled and make sure that we're doing everybody consistently. And y'all have any questions? I'm here to answer those now. Do you have any questions? I guess I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out. You're saying that basically you all decreased the value by 15 percent. No, sir. We did not. The board of equalization decreased that value by 15 percent. And we're appealing to do what? Superior court to, to 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 undo that decision. To undo the reduction. Correct. Okay. Mr. Chairman, commissioners, I've asked Walter to prepare some comments related to your options and the uh, statute as it is uh, specified. Uh, this statute provides that the Board of Assessors shall not appeal uh, a decision that reduces a value by less than 20% uh, unless the Board of Commissioners uh, within a 10 day period after being provided notice which was provided by the uh, Board of Assessors. Unless the Board of Commissioners uh, does not, uh, by majority vote, does not prohibit the appeal. <laughs> so the way this statute is structured, the Board of Commissioners may vote to prohibit the appeal, or the Board of Commissioners may vote that the Board will not prohibit the appeal. So those are the choices of our options. The statute. And based on the uh, timeline, it would be necessary, Mr. Chairman, to an agreement to add this to the agenda for action tomorrow night. Yeah, that'd be fine. Okay. We have any other questions? Yes, in regards to consistency, um, um, what other com companies or what have you have? Uh, 
had this type of reduction, I guess, in the last five years? No. This this is this has never been done before. Spare parts, like I said, are carried as inventory on the personal property account. Inventory does not, in this case, does not get any kind of depreciation. This was the 15% that was reduction that was granted by the Board of Equalization was a 15% physical depreciation. There is no physical depreciation on this inventory. So there, there are no others, just PCA just got this. That's all the other questions. Okay. Okay. Thank you.